Hi everybody, good evening. Um, it's a very hot time of the year here in the UK and um, got up to about 31, 32 degrees here so uh, it's very hot. So I'm having a, a nice cool glass of white wine and soda. So cheers. Right, so I posted a video um, yesterday which was me up a hill uh, playing with my 817 and a few other bits and there's been a few people asking what were those bits so I thought I'd just do you a quick video just to show you uh, a few of the additions that I've got for the 817 so here we go right so uh, obviously we'll, we'll start off with the 817 I'm sure you all know what an 817 looks like um, Got the Yesu uh, leather type case and also the uh, the peg legs. I will put links up at the uh, well as we go through the video. I'll put links up. But uh, peg legs are quite good. You know they allow the uh, the rig to stand off whatever it's sat on. Uh, this particular microphone is the standard MH31, um, however I've got another one that I tend to use for contest calling that's got um, a replaced inside to it um, and basically it's got a recorded voice key, uh, a, an integrated voice keyer so you can record a message and then by pressing the FST button it will actually play back that message over and over and over again like you would want in a contest. Okay, so that's fairly standard. Uh, this is quite a nice addition. Uh, I like this. Uh, just a belt clip for uh, your microphone. So literally you just put that onto your belt or onto your jacket and then snap that on. And it won't come off unless you press that button there. Then it comes off quite easily. And uh, you know, it swivels all the way around. So I quite like that. So Let's get on to the more interesting stuff. So let's just put that there, out of the way. Okay, again, I'm sure this is no surprise to a lot of you, but uh, I also use a Z817 Auto Tuner by LDG. Um, it does exactly what you expect it to do. Okay, so um, this was one of the items that I was using um, when I was uh, up the hill yesterday. Now, basically, this goes on to the back of the 817. And this is just really a, a manual tuner. It's called a Wonder Wand. And uh, I won't show you here because uh, I'll have to move the camera around. But as you can probably see here on the top, there's a BNC connector. So uh, it comes with a telescoping antenna. Um, again, I'll put a link to the website, but basically all you do is um, you put the, the antenna on top of there, you put it onto whatever band you want, and then you just turn these dials to where the, the sound sounds best, the loudest, and then by putting it onto FM and find an, uh, a, a frequency that's not being used, put the, the meter onto SWR, key up, and then fine-tune these for wherever the SWR goes back down to zero. This also comes with, just bear with me one second, in my bag from yesterday, it also comes with, in addition to the, the telescoping antenna, it also comes with this little device, and this is what I was using yesterday. So it's a BNC connector to two of these banana plug connectors, and, uh, and this is exactly what I was using yesterday. You can see the gauge of this wire, it's really, really thin. But we're talking about five watts maximum, so therefore you don't need thick wire. And literally all you do is put that on top of there, like so. And yesterday I had one wire coming off this way, one wire going off that way, kind of like as a, as a dipole. Use this to tune it, and that was, uh, that was in the video yesterday. So. That's a great little device. Uh, right, I'll take that off there and then I'll show you something else. Boy, it's warm tonight. 
Okay, so a number of you was also asking about the power supply that I was using yesterday. Now yesterday, um, because I'd, I'd been out on Saturday with the 817, I'd forgotten to charge the 817 up. So, and I knew that I was going to have no, uh, no battery in it. So I just grabbed this. This is something that I bought a year or so ago um, with high expectations. And uh, you can buy these on eBay. Again, I'll, I'll put the link to it. But uh, basically what this is, it's designed apparently to be able to jump start your car. So that's it. And it comes with a load of cables, but I've, I, I only want it for one purpose. So I've taken the cable that it comes with to be able to jump start the car and I've put power pole connectors. I put power pole connectors on everything. And literally you put that into there. And uh, I could show you with a multimeter, but I'm sure you can take my uh, word for um, truth. It gives you 12 volts. So actually, it gives you a little bit more than 12 volts. But yeah, it powers the 817. I don't know how long for. I haven't really used it much. But uh, it's absolutely perfect. And uh, just wait there a minute. Let me just uh, give you an example here. So hopefully you can see those scales. Have a look at this. That is just a little bit less than 400 grams. So, yeah, it's no weight. So, that was the power supply that I was using yesterday. And uh, when you buy this, it also comes with a mains charger. And it also comes with uh, a 12 volt cigarette lighter charger. So, you know, you, you can use it to uh, power your radio and charge it in the car. It's also got... Um, USB ports as well, so it's really, really good. I won't, you know, I won't go into too much detail, but that was what I was using yesterday. So let's just put that away. But this is what I would use. This is what I would use normally. And uh, again, it's not heavy. I'll show you how heavy it is in a second. But this is my my standard battery. This is a 12 volt, 12 amp hour. And it's a LifePo 4 battery, um, Ultramax, and again I'll put the link. But uh, this will keep my 857 alive for a good three hours um, of rag chewing up a hill. So let's just let's just centre that just so we can be fair. Okay, so around about 1.6 kilos. Yeah, 1.6 kilos which for a 12 amp hour battery, let's just compare that to this, which is, um, this is a seven amp hour, seven amp hour um, sealed lead acid battery. Let's just show you the, there you go. So there's the label, you see there, seven amp hour. So this is a seven amp hour sealed lead acid battery or some people call slabs. So before we were looking at 1.6 kilos, and that is just a touch under 2.2 kilos. So 7 amp hour, 12 amp hour, 2.2 kilos, uh, 1.6 kilos. There you go. Uh, be aware this is a LifePo 4 battery, so it's important to only charge this with the charger that it comes with you can't use a, a standard uh, battery charger. Okay, so that's that's my preferred choice. Absolutely uh, brilliant battery. And then the last thing that I want to show you is this. I'm quite pleased with this. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, they don't make these anymore, but they do make similar ones. So let's have a look. So, what I'm going to show you now, this jumble of wires, it's a jumble of wires for a reason, and I'll show you the three separate pieces. Now, all of my radios, with the exception of my Bofeng handheld, are Yaesu. And they've all got the RJ45 connections. Now, this here is called a Heil Traveller headset. Okay, They don't make it anymore, but they do make similar ones. PTT button up and down so you can change frequency very very lightweight and and it's basically got this universal connector 
And the idea is, oh and also this is a one-sided one, you can buy the two-sided one. And I picked this up out of the bargain bucket of a local UK um, ham emporium. So when you buy that, you also need to buy the adapter cable. And the adapter cable looks like this. Okay. So depending on which radio you're using, you would then buy the suitable adapter cable. So this one just happens to be for the Yaesu with the 8-pin RJ45. So literally that plugs into the microphone socket. That plugs into the earphone socket of the, of the radio. And then this plugs into there. And job done. Now, I bought this. I've already got um, a very nice Heil Pro set um, headset that is very nice. But I bought this because it's lightweight and you can actually walk along with it on. Um, but I particularly bought this for when I'm contesting. And when I'm contesting, um, very often I'll be out portable, but I'll be sat in the back of the car. So what I wanted was, uh, you see, you've got your PTT button there, but what I did want was a way of having a, a PTT button next to my laptop. So when I'm actually typing in the details of the, the, the call, I've got a button next to me that I can either press momentarily or press and latch. So what I did was I made this, and this basically sits in between there and there. Okay, so that goes like that, that goes like that. And that just adds the PTT in a position that I don't have to pick up a microphone, um, because obviously you've got the mic, you've got the earpiece, in the hope that you can then be hands-free to type so literally when i'm contesting i can cq contest and then when somebody comes back to me then i can go yeah roger you are five nine zero zero one italy oscar nine two echo tango you see and you've always got both your hands so there you go so i thought i'd just show you that because um i've got something else to show you oh i have hold on yeah there's more so it's getting a bit like qvc now isn't it apart from i'm not trying to sell it yet let me just put that in here out the way I will get um, confused. Right, okay, this is great. Okay, so one of the things I also like, I love talking on the radio and I love contests. Um, although I'm very, very new to amateur radio, I, I love it all. But one of the things I do love is digi modes. And, uh, but I do love portable. And I like the challenge of QRP. So, what I wanted was the ability to do um, portable uh, digi modes. Or data mode sorry so this this little box is basically an interface between the 857 which plugs into the round one goes into the back of the 857 and that interface is into my Android phone which goes into there and then running a bit of software on my phone called a uh, droid PSK enables me to do PSK 31 or PSK 63 from my Android phone uh, there you go, into my 817, portable, okay, so that was that, and when you buy this, and I'll put you a link as well to this, you can specify the additional cables, so that's that, and the cable to connect it is in my bag, so I won't bother getting that out, but that's really good, I haven't actually got round to using it yet, but, uh, oh there's the cable, sorry, Yep, so that goes like that. Um, I haven't actually got round to using it yet. And then the thing that I've just ordered, which will be arriving tomorrow, is a Windows tablet. Because at the moment, I really like FT8, which is the modern thing. Um, but at the moment, I haven't found a real way of doing FT8 on my Android tablet. So I've ordered a little Windows tablet, um, which I'll do a later video on. Let's see if it works. So there you go. Um, I'm just thinking. Um, I've got one other thing. Hold on. Yeah. And then the last thing, and again, I haven't tried this, but I think it will work because everything is kind of universal when you're talking about these kind of radios. No, tell a lie, I have. I've used this 
when I was in the States in October last year, I used this. And this little cable connects into the back of the 85, 817 or 857. And then this goes into your laptop. And then here you've got a microphone and a speaker. And that allows you, this is basically the, the interface from there to put the audio into your laptop. And uh, yeah, that works. I, uh, I had this working when I was in the States. So there you go. I'm going to put up all the links um, when, uh, when, when I process this video. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Uh, you may have seen the chickens wandering around. You're not going crazy. Um, but yeah, literally the... Uh, here we go, I'll just show you. Literally, this is my garage. But literally we have got chickens that just wander around. Um, yeah, quite bizarrely. I'm just in the middle of making up some um, Slim Jim antennas at the moment for uh, portable use. Uh, I'm always kind of making stuff, so I do enjoy my hobby. Right, there you go. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, let's just turn it back just so you can see me. Whew, as you can see, it's really warm here. Oh, it's really humid. Um, if you did enjoy watching, thank you very much for your time. And uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and then we'll keep you notified of uh, the new videos. So, uh, yep, 7 3 for now, and uh, see you soon, hopefully. Bye bye. What did you think, girls? Did you learn anything? Hmm? Should we try tuning a few antennas? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, it's 7-3 from me.